Hey guys, my name is Corey and I'm the author of Fiverr Success and I'm here to show you guys my sales page on Fiverr as well as talk a little bit about my ebook. Um, as you can see, I am a top rated seller on Fiverr. Um, I make 4,000 bucks a month and I only work about eight hours or so a week total, usually less. So as you can see, I made over four, I made over 4,000 bucks this month and my average selling price for my gigs is eight dollars. Um, this is on the low end. Uh, typically what you'll see is a lot of uh, people who are, who are successful on Fiverr sell about twenty dollars or so average. I'm all about volume so I try to get forty or more orders a day and that's how I make my money on Fiverr. I do sell gig extras but I only charge five bucks for most of them and I talk about this in my ebook as well. Um, it, it, it purely depends on what you're selling. So if you have a gig that you can charge 100 bucks for gig extra, go for it. Um, but in my case, it was all about volume. I'm just trying to sell a lot. Um, as you can see, I only have three negative reviews on my gigs. So that's really good. Um, most of these negative reviews came in the beginning of my Fiverr career. Um, so I go into that in my book as well, how to avoid and letting anyone leave a negative review on any of your gigs. It's very key because the first thing that anyone does when they go to your gig page is they scroll down and they look at your negative reviews. If you have none, it's going to encourage them to buy your gig. It's as simple as that. And I also have a 10% cancellation percentage, which is okay because you don't really want to have more than this, but most of these gigs that were canceled were canceled by me. I didn't want anyone to leave a negative review. So if someone was complaining about the gig or they weren't satisfied with it, I will just cancel it and let the buyer get their money back and not let them leave a, a, a review because if you cancel the gig, they can't leave a review. And you might think, well, I'm losing money right there, four bucks or how much they spent, including gig extras, but you're actually going to make more money in the long run because a gig with no negative reviews or very little is a very good thing. It's going to encourage more sales, increase this, the conversion percentage. I also talk about this in my ebook as well. Um, you typically want to have between 10 to 25 percent conversion. If you have more than 25 percent, more power too. That's great. But realistically, you're probably going to get between 10 to 25 if you're doing really well on Fiverr. Um, you want to have 20 active gigs. So if if you're just starting out you want to have 20 gigs that's what that's the maximum fiber allows you and just take advantage of that and just have 20 gigs and see what works what doesn't and you can start cutting down from there um, I also talk about how you can go around this and actually have more than 20 gigs but that's in my ebook as well um, as you can see I've made basically someone's full-time salary on my 13 months or so here on fiber and I haven't even been working like a full-time employee. I've, I've done less than uh, part-time work even and I talk about in my book what gigs to sell, what gigs are in demand, how to sell them, even how to outsource some of them for very cheap. Um, I also talk about my delivery system, um, how, I, how I maintain efficiency on Fiverr so I don't want to spend too much money on the, uh, or sorry, too much time on this site. So I have a system on how I deliver and process gig orders. I also talk about my road to top rated seller. I can't guarantee you guys will become a top rated seller because that's something Fiverr manually picks but I can show you how I did it and you can replicate my success. So that's all I want to talk about right now guys. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you guys purchased the ebook and if you do let me know how it goes for you. I guarantee you guys find some success on Fiverr. It's really easy. 